I'm going to go to modules where it is located. It's going to show us a preview of the steps of the project. I recommend just clicking on it to download it. Then you can open it up in Adobe Acrobat or similar and it will be a bit easier to read than trying to view it in here. So it says what we're going to do is we're going to use house drum kit sounds which are kick, snare and clap, uh, closed hi-hat, open hi-hat and potentially other stuff too. And we're going to create a two measure beat. So the first thing we have to do is we have to delete all the tracks that we don't need. And what that means is all we need is one MIDI track. So I'm going to delete the rest of these ones. Right click and hit delete. Now I just have one MIDI track. Next thing we do is save it and give it our name. Last name, first name, 187 Project 2 House Beat. File, save, Poland dot Tim dot one eighty seven Project Two House Beat Project Two House Beat and I'll save that somewhere. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to find a drum kit in our sounds collection area. So I'm going to go over to click on drums here, click the search, and we're going to look for this eight oh eight kit. 808 core kit it's called. Type in 808. You can already see things narrowing down. Core. And there it is. Click on it, you can hear the sound. And drag that over to the MIDI track here. And it loads it all up. Down below here in the edit window, we can see the individual drum hits, what they look like, that type of thing. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an area for it. Um, where we can make our own notes in it. So that's up next. It says click and drag on the timeline to make a one measure long selection from measure one to two. And then create a MIDI clip in there. I'm gonna first go like this to, to zoom in. So I see measure one to two. And then I'm gonna go to the bottom of this track area click and drag to make a selection and to go create insert MIDI clip it's going to create an area down here the MIDI note editor area where I can actually create my own notes that will play the instrument back I forgot to do this I'm going to make it loop the selection number five here so I'm going to click there and hit control plus L or an apple apple L it's going to loop this area here, as you can see. Cool. Now I'm going to hit this MIDI preview button. Looks like headphones. So that I'm able to hear a sound. And I'm going to scroll down to hear the 808 kick sound. MIDI preview. That way when I scroll down here, and if I click on any of these notes in this piano roll, You hear what they sound like. Cool, got that. I have all these little lines here in this grid. Line, 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 line. There's too many of them. That means it's dividing my whole musical measurement, or measure as they call it, up into 32 parts. I wanted to divide up into only four parts. So I'm going to right click here and hit fixed grid, fourth. That means it's going to divide up each musical measurement into four divisions. You can see them in columns here. One, two, three, four. They label it 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, and 1.4. Cool. Now it says double click the next to the 808 in the bottom left cell and it's going to create um, a kick sound for us. So I'm going to go down to here, 808, and click this cell area, double click, and look, kick 808, that's cool. Now I have a kick made in there. 
push play, keep on going through, loop around and play. It goes on the background. Now it says, with the notes selected, hit Control D three times, and it's going to make copies or duplicate copies of these. Now we're going to create a snare part by going at 1.2 and 1.4 where the snare is located. Here's the snare. Here's 1.2. 1.4 over here. Now we're going to do the same for a clap part. The last part is we want to make a smaller grid part because we're going to make closed hi-hats that are going faster. So we're going to right click here and say eighth note, find this closed hi-hat, double click. Instead of the normal way of going about this and just hitting duplicate, I'm actually going to hit this button here shortcut for it is B. It's going to turn my cursor into a brush here. See this little pencil brush? Then when I click, it'll drag over on the current grid line. So now I have my beat, pretty cool. Stop that, save it again. So I've done all that, made my eighth notes, hit this B brush. Um, I actually need to make one more measure too, this doesn't say that, but I'm gonna make one more measure. So I'm gonna click on this whole thing here and hit um, Apple D, or Control D rather, for you. Then I'll make something slightly different at the very end of it. Just one little difference there, not much. Now if I select the whole thing and loop it, so I have these two loops almost the same but just one little difference is in the end is going to make it sound more interesting cool now that I've got that I'm going to export this I'm going to go to file first save live set just to make sure I have my set saved somewhere I'm going to export everything I have highlighted I'm going to double check that I have everything um, selected here go to file export audio video and I actually want to go on PCM, which is uncompressed audio, really high quality. And so I'll do that. I want that on. And I also want upload to SoundCloud. I don't need this uh, analysis file. So now I hit export. And say where I want to export it. Here we can just do it in the desktop for the moment. And hit save. Now it's going to ask us actually to, to log into SoundCloud. Type in your password. And uh, hit you're not a robot. They might make you go through this whole business here, clicking all these stupid things. Click all the buses. Is that a bus? Yeah. OK, we're finally into this stupid thing. And then you can do it as public. Or private. I'm just going to do it as um, public for the moment and say no rights reserved because I don't really care about that but you can do some type of rights version of this if you want and hit upload. And to do it you can copy link or you can click on this and do both copy link and of course you see if I Go there now. 
cool. It plays my beat. So I've copied that link. Now what I want to do is I want to go into this um, assignment, hit submit assignment. And um, I'll just click in here, URL and paste it in there. Edit, paste and hit submit. Successfully submitted and that's it.